Want to know how to stay out of hot water with your manager? Look it up before you make that phone call to ask a question. Let's talk about it, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. One of the things that, that I've learned early on, and this was something that um, could be a little bit painful and in kind of like a, ah, oh, geez, I shouldn't have done that kind of a way. But um, early on in your career, you're gonna have a lot of questions, right? When you're out handling, handling claims, when you're uh, setting up your schedule, when you're writing estimates, whether you're at the house or you're back at your hotel or, or even in the help room, and you're gonna have a million questions. And I, I would say through your entire career, you're always gonna have questions. But <clears throat> the answers to all of those questions are usually available to you with a little bit of a search, right? So generally speaking, um, especially with the bigger, more established firms that have a, have a really robust um, apparatus for running cat property deployments, um, usually they're gonna give you, um, when you first deploy, when they, they say, all right, we'll get your rear end down to Alabama or to Florida or to Texas or to Minnesota or whatever it is, we're gonna send you an email or look for a couple of emails from us. It's gonna have a bunch of information in it, um, policies, estimating guidelines, so on and so forth. All kinds of little job aids and things like that for you to use while you're putting together your files. If you're sitting there working on an estimate, this is usually how it happens, right? Sometimes when you're standing out, you may, you may be standing in the insurance backyard and they have a question for you and you don't know the answer to it. And I think in, in those cases, you probably still can look on your phone and pull, open up those zip files and, and pull up the policy and say, well, actually in the policy, it says th this and this. If you can't find it after like a minute or two of looking, then you can call your manager, right? So basically what, <clears throat> what I'm talking about here and kind of what happens with adjusters with, and really, I mean, honestly, with any job, especially if you're new at it, you got all these questions and you know that the fast way that you can get the answer is to ask somebody, right? Um, or it seems like it's the fastest way to get the answer. But the fact of the matter is, is that your manager, while they're, they are absolutely there to help you um, and they're a resource for you to use to make sure that you're on the straight and narrow and you're doing the right thing and you're following the rules and everything, um, they are also not just your manager, but they're a manager to 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 other people. Um, never mind the field managers that may report to them, the file reviewers that may report to them, so on and so forth. So they may be managing a large group of people. And if all those people are calling all day long, asking questions that are easily found on your with a quick search of the, the, the all the documentation, everything that they gave you uh, when you first deployed, they may be, you know, you may have a little bit of a grace period, like in the very beginning, if you do that a couple of times, but after the third or fourth time, if it's every day or every couple of days, and it's, you know, maybe two, three times a day, you're calling in with questions that you, you they know that, that's in, in the information that, that you were given, that you have in your possession, they're gonna start to push back on you and say, listen, you know, you're kind of wasting everybody's time, including your own, um, by calling me and asking me questions that you already have the, the answers to in the documentation. So rule number six in my rules for adjusting rules um, is to always try to look the answer up first, right? Because what'll happen is, is that, and this happened, like I said, this happened to me in the very beginning, I'll call up my manager and say, hey, uh, it, our fence is ACV, right? And I mean, I can look that up in like five. What, what policy, Matt? Uh, HO3. Um, okay, yeah, well, hold on just one second, Matt. Let me just pull that policy up in the zip file that we all have access to or on the web, here at the website, you know, and the links that we gave you. Let me just pull that up for you and look for you to and just do that for you. Okay, and, and then it took probably a couple times for that to happen to me before I got the hint that I was like, Maybe I should be looking that stuff up myself, trying to find those answers on my own before I bug my manager with that connection. He's got all kinds of other things going on, right? Um, there may be like major things that he or she is working on that are putting a lot of pressure on them and then you kind of sideline them with the silly question about whether fences are ACV when you could just look that up in the policy very, very, very quickly and easily yourself. So my advice and what I learned to do was to, if I, if I ran into something that, that presented a question to me, I would um, say, okay, let's see, where can I find that? Is it gonna be in Exactware help, right? Where well, there's extensive Exactware, Exactimate help for all different products that Exactware, you know, 
offers, right? So Xactimate Mobile, Xactimate X1, so on and so forth. All that information is available to you almost instantly. Um, inside of Xactimate, you all the links to get all that stuff is in there, right? The policies, you can pull the policy up. If, if a company is not giving you policies and you're required to make coverage calls, um, then they're negligent. And I say that in a colloquial kind of a way, but you need to have access to the policies, right? So when you call, call in, after you've looked for this information, if you can't find it, if you're not quite sure where to find it or how to find it, spend a few minutes looking for it, and then call your manager and say, hey, um, I know you're super busy, and I've, I've, I looked in like 15 different places for this. I looked in this th resource, I looked in that resource, I looked in that resource, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. I want to make sure. I, I think I know the right answer, and this is what I think we should do. But I wasn't sure, and I want to make, I want to run it by you really quick before I committed to A or B or whatever it is, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So what, what's the situation? Okay, great. Well, let me look in there. Yeah, yeah. No, I think your original in intuition was correct, right? Or now that's actually you're in the going in the right direction with it, but. Actually, this piece over here makes that not work, right? So you can't do it, right? So you're, you're really calling your manager to get clarification and to get like the final stamp of approval on what you want to do versus, hey, how do I turn on my computer? Hey, our fence is ACV. Hey, you know, silly stuff that they don't need to be bothered with, okay? If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members-only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.